Hey y'all, this is Robbie from My Smoky TV. Off the Beaten Path series. This series is originating from Greenville, Tennessee. I bet you did not know the home of Andrew Johnson who was our 17th United States President. A lot of history behind Greenville. You know, we're standing right on the corner. You can see behind me his statue. Across the street is a mu museum. A lot of history right here in Greenville, Tennessee. Let me throw some things at you. Andrew Johnson was born in Raleigh, North Carolina. He was president under Abraham Lincoln. And did you know how he became president and why he became president under Abraham Lincoln? For you historians right there, I'll let you know when we come back. Let's go check in with Ashley. She's at the Capitol Theater right here in Greenville, Tennessee. And you guys, I've actually never been inside here. I'm 33 years old, and obviously I've been to Greenville a lot. It's very close to where I live, but I've never been in the Capitol Theater. So we are here now about to go talk to Ashley, the general manager, and find out some history and some fun things about the theater. Oh, this looks like where I need to be. Hi, Ashley. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. We are back here, Capitol Theater, and this is Ashley. She is the general manager here. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Good. So I have my tickets, and to me, when I see food and drinks, this looks like a place that I need to come <laughs> to next. So once you get your tickets, they have refreshment snacks. So kind of just tell us a little bit about like what kind of snacks I guess you guys have. I see you have Coke products. Oh yeah, we've got quite a selection of okay. Coke products. Pretty much anything you can think of we have. We also have bottled water. Right. We have your regular theater um, boxes of candy okay. and we've also got some other like, candy bars and things like that. And of course our popcorn. Um, I don't want to brag too much but sometimes I make it myself and it's pretty good then. <laughs> okay, so some really good popcorn. Yes. So basically everything that you need to go have a good time in the theater you guys have it Exactly. Here. So we're actually, when we come back, you guys, we're going to find out a little bit about the history of the theater. Ashley's going to tell us, um, you know, date it back to the year that it was built and just kind of a little bit about what it means to Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to this edition of Off the Beaten Path right here from Greenville, Tennessee. I'm Roddy Woods. We just heard from Ashley. She's over at the Capitol Theater. But some facts about why we're here in Greenville. You know that he was the 17th president, Andrew Johnson, but let me give you a few quick little facts. He was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, December 29th, 1808. He died just right up the road from here in Elizabethan on July 31st, 1875. He was our 17th president, but before Andrew Johnson became president, there's a lot of history behind this young man. He came to Greenville as a young boy and learn the art of tailoring. You know, if you don't know what that is, that's making suits, that's making clothes. So he was, he was here in Greenville, he married a long, young lady here from Greenville, and then he decided he wanted to go into politics. Andrew Johnson became an alderman right here in Greene County. Then he became the mayor of Greenville, and then he went on to serve in the state house. He was, a, he was in the House of Representatives, and then he was a senator in the state of Tennessee. 
you know something? He was even our governor of Tennessee. So a lot of history right here in Greenville about Andrew Johnson. If you would like to, a tour, they do daily tours. A lot of things that you can see right here in Greenville about our 17th president, Andrew Johnson. Need to come over here. if you're in Sevier County, come on over to Greenville. It's just a hop, skip and jump off the beaten path. Hi, I'm Phil Campbell with the LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge. I'm the general manager here and here to inform you of this month's events. Thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your support here at the LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge. Find out more information at LeConteCenter.com. This segment was brought to you by Krispy Kreme Donuts of Pigeon Forge. Craving a hot, fresh donut? I bet you there's a good chance the hot light is on right now. A lot of history here in Greene County. Ashley went over to the Capitol Theater, one of the oldest theaters in Tennessee. She had a great interview, a lot of great things going on in the month of September. So make sure you make your way over here for Ashley Woods. I'm Roddy Woods. We'll see you next time right here off the beaten path on My Smoky TV. Hey y'all, Michelle with My Smoky TV, channel 195. Um, we're gonna take you where the locals go today to Trisha's Diner. We're going to show you exactly what this hidden gem has to offer. Follow me. My name is Joey Hicks and I'm from Newport, Tennessee. I come to Trisha's Mountain Diner for the good home cooked meals. More or less it's country laid back. Friendly service and everything. We're Robert and Marjorie and uh, we live on Cosby and we eat here at uh, Trisha's every Monday. We eat soup and sandwich and uh, we come in here after we do the laundry. I love you. I love you. I love you. We come here because this is one of the nicest restaurants around here. Trish is wonderful. She's a wonderful boss to these people. It's all of them are great around here. The food's delicious. I recommend the uh, vegetable soup and Grilled cheese sandwich is what we have every Monday here, and it's delicious. Aww. <laughs> wow, this food looks delicious. I can't wait to try those fried green tomatoes and the mozzarella sticks. Very good. Next up is the soup and salad. Thank you. Thank you. That looks so good. Wow, this looks amazing. Come and join me, Chris. Sure. As you can see, he's going to try the catfish. It all looks so good. But soup looks good. So much food here. Great food. Um, homemade. And as you can see, I am getting ready to have the Monday special, which is the meatloaf. They have daily specials here. Um, everything is cooked homemade. All the vegetables are fresh. This is an amazing, amazing uh, restaurant off the beaten path. This is definitely where the locals go. What do you think, Chris? He's out. Hi, this is Amanda Marr with the Sevierville Chamber of Commerce. 
Coming up next on My Smoky TV, check out all the great things there are to see and do in Sevierville and the Smoky Mountains. MCG Clothing is the only women's boutique in Gatlinburg where you'll find a fabulous array of women's and juniors contemporary fashions. You'll find boutique top brands made in the U.S. with sizes available from small to 3XL. Shop for stylish boots, sandals, and shoes, or for beautiful purses, jewelry, and accessories. MCG Clothing carries Southern Grace fashions and Caruso Christian Apparel. Shop MCG Clothing today, where there's always a sale. MCG Clothing, located on Level D in the Mountain Mall in downtown Gatlinburg. Hi, I'm Park Ranger Jay Morgan, and you're watching My Smoky TV, Channel 195. Welcome to Sevierville, Tennessee, and the Great Smoky Mountains. We are so glad that you have come to visit with us. You know, summer's almost over, but that doesn't mean the fun has to end. There's still plenty of great events, great things to see and do, and a lot of really cool stuff that you need to plan to come back and visit with us for. The Tennessee Smokies still have plenty of baseball games to play. The Tennessee Smokies are Sevierville's very own AA baseball team, and they're the affiliates of the Chicago Cubs, so you've got great opportunities to see some amazing players in action. We've also got a lot of other fun events coming up, including some car shows in September, and our History and Haunts event that's going to be taking place this October. I told you, you need to plan to come back and see us. History and Haunts is going to take place in downtown Sevierville each and every Saturday evening in October from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Each one is going to include guided historic walking tours, some fun crafts and activities, and a lot of things you don't want to miss. Learn more about that at downtownhistoryandhaunts.com. It's time to start planning ahead for your fall visit. In Sevierville, we are starting Harvest Fest in the middle of September and running through November 7th, and there's gonna be plenty of things to see and do. Our self-guided fall driving tours are back again this year, and we've got a brand new fall driving tour for you as well, called the Boyd's Creek Driving Tour. It takes you along Boyd's Creek Highway and points out several great historic sites and provides some beautiful fall views when the leaves are at their peak color. Typical peak season for fall leaves is mid-October to mid-November, so we want to invite you back to Sevierville and the Smoky Mountains to enjoy that as well. To learn more about everything there is to see and do in Sevierville and the Smoky Mountains, both right now and when you return, go to visitsevierville.com. This segment was brought to you by Krispy Kreme Donuts of Pigeon Forge. Craving a hot, fresh donut? I bet you there's a good chance the hot light is on right now. Hey, once again, thank you for watching My Smoky TV. And I'm Chris Reddick, and we're here with Miss Hey Y'all, Michelle. Hey Y'all. But right now, we're going to throw this aside because Ms. Hayall said we've got something new that we're doing in August. So Michelle, I understand there's a new promotion going on. What, what's going on now at My Smoky TV? So we have a new promotion and uh, it's one of my passions. Okay. Chasing sunsets. Chasing sunsets. Yes. All right. So you said that's your passion, chasing it sunsets. Is. Why do you love sunsets so much? It's all God's glory and masterpiece. Oh. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, I understand people have been talking around here and they say that not only do you chase sunsets, you also chase sunrises and they say you take a lot of pictures just about every day. Is that true? I do. All right, I so do. talk about that. What, why do you do it every day? Um, it's a different sunrise and a different uh, sunset. It's always different every day. So this um, is probably something we take. We take for granted it is. on God's it beauty is. that he delivers to us each and every day. That's literally right in front of us. That's correct. All right, so with that being your passion for uh, enjoying those beautiful sunrises and sunsets, I understand that this promotion is to what? Take pictures of sunsets, right? Of your favorite sunset. Okay, your um, favorite sunset. So what do they have to do? Um, you just take a picture, and it can be wherever. Um, doesn't have to necessarily be here uh, in the Smokies. It can be at the beach or, oh, okay. so or it wherever. It can be oh. ever, anywhere that That's you are cool. of your favorite sunset. Okay. Um, and then you just submit it to MySmokyTV.com. So, so MySmokyTV.com. So you heard that. Even though we love 
the beautiful sunsets Sun. here in the Smokies, but we understand a lot of tours aren't from around here, so this is a way that the community can show appreciation from the sunsets from where they're from, so you don't actually have to be in the Smokies, you can be anywhere at any time, but I believe Michelle says, you know, while you're out there, make sure you send in your best photo, because if their best photo happens to get picked, what's going to happen then? So at um, each month, we will pick a favorite sunset picture of ours okay. that we think uh, and then you will win a grand prize um, you'll get two tickets to the island to the big wheel oh nice and also oh Krispy like Kreme also, oh Krispy Kreme donuts yes. so guess what you know after that ride at the big wheel for the winter the they, can, they can sit back and get those Krispy Kreme donuts and That's enjoy great. that beautiful sunset that overseas Sevier County. That's correct. Or wherever else they are. They may want to take them back and enjoy their That's sunset correct. back home. All That's right, correct. so this sounds like a lot of fun, but I understand that you said there's going to be a winter each month. So how long does this promotion it go It goes to? through from August through December. Oh, oh to, to the rest of the yes, year? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. So we should get a lot of beautiful sunset pictures on MySmokeyTV.com. Hey, or excuse me, hey, y'all, this sounds simple. All you have to do is wait till the sun's beginning to go down, get outside, or go to your favorite area. You may be on a mountaintop, or you may be at the beach, or by the lake, and take a picture of that beautiful sunset. Like I said, it's one of God's beautiful masterpieces that he gives this gift each and every day that you and all of us can enjoy. So, Michelle, what should they do now? They're going to submit their favorite uh, well, sunset they take picture. The picture first, they got to take the picture, <laughs> and then they're going to submit it to mysmokytv.com. And who knows, y'all? Mm -hmm. We may have a grand prize winner in December. Ooh, okay. So, so out of all the winners, they may the even winners. be. Oh, so guess what? Yes. Uh, you may be in for a big grand prize. Grand prize winning in December, which I'm sure that that's going to be. Oh, I, I can't even wait to, to know what that is. But in the meantime, each month, you're going to win two tickets for the winner to the island, island to ride on the big wheel, along with, I'm sure, probably a dozen donuts of those Krispy Kreme donuts. That hot we lot. All love. Oh, and she loves it when that hot light is on, and so do I. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun here on My Smoky TV, and a lot of great things are happening. Come on out to the smoky mountains i mean you're going to have a lot of fun a lot of great things to do keep watching this channel because we're going to show you about all the great places to eat shop dine enjoy oh it's just so much to do michelle thank you and i'm so glad that you were inspired by those sunsets and giving people an opportunity to come to my smoky tv to share those pictures as well and possibly win a prize as well as wait until december to win that grand prize so that's correct. And y'all, you're going to see where my favorite sunset picture um, is. Oh. Taken out. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. With that being said, as we <laughs> go off in the sunset, <laughs> we're going to show some of the beautiful pictures that Michelle has taken right now. every moviegoer needs to watch a movie. Popcorn, and Ashley says that her popcorn is really good, so I have to agree, it is very good. And we are now here in this beautiful theater. It's so pretty in here, Ashley. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the history, the year that this theater was built? I know we were talking off camera, and this theater has a great history, so many fun, interesting things that I would love to hear about, and I know our viewers would love to hear about. Oh, yeah. This this theater has a lot of um, things going for it. We we do have a ghost. Um, oh. So, yeah, we uh, it's it's been here since 1934. It was built then. In, um, as a theater um, before then in this place before it was a theater it was actually a mansion okay. but it was uh, kind of rebuilt and redone by the Crescent Amusement Company in 1934 and they actually built um, a bunch of different theaters some are called the Princess Theater the Capitol Theater and we have a sister theater in Maryville oh, okay. um, that's called the Capitol Theater built by the same people wow. 
Um, and the, the scandal behind that is, is that they tried to create an, a monopoly. Their plan was to kind of squeeze out all the other theaters and be in control. Obviously, yeah. the government caught on and they shut them down. Wow. So a lot of the theaters that they built were closed okay. and demolished, but this one survived. survived. Yes. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing that as old as it is and it looks this way, but you said that there it has actually had to be restored many times. Yes. So kind of tell us a little bit about why it had to be restored and kind of what happened. That's very interesting to me. Absolutely. To find out. Yeah, so after the um, Crescent Amusement Company was closed down, um, the theater was vacant for a long time, and then in the 70s, it was um, purchased, rebuilt, um, and kind of worked on, um, and it was owned at one point by the Little Theater Company, mm -hmm. which is no longer around, but right. is sort of like, um, they, they kind of took it over and did a lot of stage performances and things like that. Um, at one point, it almost became a parking lot, and it was rescued again, and then a theater company came in and tried to do a huge overhaul of mm -hmm. the building, um, but unfortunately, they went into debt, and they were foreclosed oh. on. Um, so in about 2014, um, Tracy Solomon, who, mm -hmm. who's an, a local businessman, purchased the building and saved it again, wow. and he has put a lot of his own money into restoring um, and funding the theater. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've, of course, as a nonprofit, which we are now, right. um, we take a lot of donations from the community. So we're very um, community involved mm -hmm. and um, funded a lot. A lot of the things that we've had done are funded by the community that's as amazing. well. Yeah. What's some yes. stuff that's happening? Some movies that are playing and things that they would love to come check out. Yes. So we have um, quite a few movies. We're showing 16 Candles in September. Okay. We're doing uh, The Karate Kid. Okay. Um, quite a few movies like that. And then um, our local theater guild, okay. uh, the Greenville Theater Guild, is coming to do a performance of Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, wow. Um, and that's okay. a live performance, that's a stage awesome. performance. So you guys definitely go on the website. Book your tickets now. Some fun things to do in September. Start off fall here at the Capitol Theater. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Actually, thank you thank so you. much. And we will see you next time. And Absolutely. And we're going to actually throw it back to Roddy. Thank you all. Tune in to the Craftsman Channel 196. Watch local craftsmen and learn of the rich Smoky Mountain heritage and history. Meet Robert A. Lewine and his family as they take you on their journey of their successful pottery business in the Gatlinburg's Arts and Crafts community. Established by Robert A. Lewine more than 30 years ago, this business has grown up with the A. Lewine family. A. Lewine Pottery is renowned nationwide, not only for their stunning handmade ceramics, but also their friendly, fun-loving family atmosphere. Tune to Channel 196, the Craftsman Channel, and enjoy these great stories. Hey, I'm Jake Nichols here for My Smoky TV in episode one of what I like to call Smoky Mountain Samples. In the past, you may have seen me doing a little high school football here and there for your high school sports. This time, I am taking you from the gridiron to the grill. I've got you covered all across East Tennessee for food, football, and the like. Today, I am here at Puckett's Grocery and Restaurant in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This is opening their fourth location. They've got one in Nashville one in Franklin, one in Chattanooga, and now one right here in Pigeon Forge. So we're about to go see what they are all about. Here at Puckett's Grocery and Restaurant in Pigeon Forge, you walk in, you automatically feel the southern ambiance, and you feel like you're about to get a fantastic meal, which is what we did. The service was absolutely amazing. The culinary director, Lee Rice, really helped us out as far as selecting the dishes that we sampled this afternoon. How are we doing today? Well, how are you? Got some delicious fried green tomatoes. Starting off, we had the fried green tomatoes. They were crisp. They were juicy. They had that velvety pimento cheese underneath. Just an awesome texture overall. Really delicious. Here we go, sir. And then from there, we moved on to what they like to call here the smoked meatloaf. It was meatloaf with some onions, some peppers, just smoked on the grill, had that crispiness on the outside, but also just that gorgeous meatloaf flavor on the inside with some mashed potatoes. Perfect meatloaf. I'm telling you, whenever I tasted those green beans, I felt like I was back home on my grandmother's farm in West Tennessee. The texture, they had those ham hocks in there, the little pieces that just make that fatty texture so delicious. It was incredible flavor all around. And then even the little corn cake that they had on the side with a nice little pat of butter. Really good sweet tea as well. You know you can tell a good place whenever they have good sweet tea, and these guys do. Last but not least, the creme de la creme of this meal, that deep 
fried brownie. It was gooey on the inside. It was crispy on the outside. Had that ice cream on the top with chocolate, caramel, pecans, whipped cream, you name it. It had it just like fair food on crack is what I called it. And man, it was it was one of the best desserts that I have had here in my time in East Tennessee, maybe ever. This is incredible. And then lastly, they recommended the pimento cheese bites. And boy, was my man Johnny right. He got me fixed up good. Gooey pimento cheese, which I was able to sample with culinary director Lee Rice. So talking to Lee a little bit about the food, I got to sample some of it inside and it was awesome. So what is it just about that food that you think appeals to this area and just what you feel like you guys have to offer? Well, we take great, in, great Southern food, uh, simple food, and make it great. Foster, thanks so much, man. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Hey, folks, this is Roddy from My Smoky TV Channel 195, and I'm standing in front of the best place to get a Krispy Kreme Donuts, and that's Krispy Kreme Donuts right here on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge and at their second location right down in Sevierville off of Highway 66. Make sure you stop when the hot light's on. It's on from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then at night from 6 to 9. Hey, I love them, so come on by Krispy Kreme Donuts and get you one hot, fresh, and ready and follow My Smoky TV Channel 195 on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, 
you'll just really love the Vista Garden area. So Bob mentioned the fires. The south side of this property was the most affected by the fires. If you look off to the driver's side of the truck, you'll see really the whole south side of this property was very severely damaged. Yeah. Uh, Bob did mention that through our restoration efforts, we have planted over 1,500 saplings. It's very important to us to care for this property and to bring it back to a beautiful state. So the Vista Garden certainly is part of that, but then the reforestation of the trees is also part of it. So, uh, if you are uh, staying with us today to enjoy the park when you get off, um, please do. Uh, we have an armband for you that says VIP. That's going to give you access to a free Real Runner mountain poster. Uh, and the Real Runner is down for maintenance right now, so no mountain poster at this moment. But you can come back. Just reach out to either Erica or I and we'll get you back up here for that. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have enjoyed the Ridge Rambler. We are so excited about this new vehicle that's going to add an extra experience uh, that allows us to immerse our guests into the beauty of Anakista. Thank you. We're here at Tennessee Cider Company. It's been a long time coming. We are located right off the parkway. We are in between the aquarium and Tennessee homemade wines. The garage doors are open. We have six different ciders on draft. They're all delicious. We get four samples of the six. Um, people are coming and going. Apples are pressed here daily. We have a really cool concept here. You guys can come in, taste all of our ciders, sit over at our bar, talk with your friends, and enjoy everything that Tennessee Cider Company has to offer. Tennessee Cider Company is the first cidery open in Gallenberg, Tennessee. Sit down, enjoy the cider, and have some of our good stuff. This is Brian from Chicago and you're watching My Smoky TV channel 195. I'm Phil Campbell with the LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge. I'm the general manager here and here to inform you of this month's events. Thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your support here at the LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge. Find out more information at LeConteCenter.com. This segment was brought to you by Krispy Kreme Donuts of Pigeon Forge. Craving a hot, fresh donut? I bet you there's a good chance the hot light is on right now.
Hey, it's Chris with My Smoky TV, and we're still having a great time here in the Mountain Mall in Gatlinburg. And you know what? While you're here visiting the Smokies, I'm sure you're really hungry, and I bet you didn't know you get the great taste of New York right here at New York Pizza and Pasta. It is amazing. I mean, you get the New York pizza by the slice, or you can step up and get the super pizza. That's right, the New York style super pizza, the 24 inch, if you're that hungry. So, you know what makes their pizza so good? You know why people are piled up here to get some of that pizza? Because of the brick oven that they use to give you that good New York taste. And you know what? They make fresh pasta daily and they have calzones. So you need to get here to New York Pizza and Pasta. That's right, located here in the Mountain Mall of Gatlinburg on Level B. And mm -mm, it is that good. Come try. Okay, so a definite stop for all your shopping for gifts, souvenirs, home decor, furniture, and more is at the Tennessee Trading Post. Find beautiful Amish made log furniture, cabin decor, and incredible deals like two for 120 on jumbo rockers or two for 140 on extra large rockers. Can anyone beat these prices and all this merchandise? I don't think so. Now, come on down, shop till you drop for gifts, souvenirs, home decor, furniture, and any other knickknacks you can grab at Tennessee Trading Post. Look for the sign, it's easy to find on the parkway in Sevierville. Next to the happy hippie. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Ashley and Emerson again and we have something so fun and exciting for you all. It's our new segment, Shop Local. And today we are featuring Shop Local Boutiques. We are here at the Crossing in Sevierville, Tennessee and we're going to be heading into our first feature today, the boutique Raised in a Barn. And if you haven't guessed it by now, yes, it is a children's clothing store. So Emerson and I are so excited. We actually have a beach trip coming up in a couple of weeks to Charleston and we are doing a family photo shoot at the beach and I want to pick out some stuff for her uh, to wear for the pictures and just some clothes for the trip. Mm. So let's go check it out. We are here in the store raised in a barn and first of all it is just decorated absolutely beautiful. What I love about their shop is it's so hard to find really cute little boys clothes and my son is nine and so actually I want to find him some stuff for the beach trip as well. Um, she starts out in size a newborn all the way up to size 14, 16 and what I love is like this little t-shirt they actually designed these. And of course, my favorite section, the little girl section. It is so hard to not buy a million items when you have a little girl. There's just too many cute things and they literally have some of the cutest clothes I've seen for little girls. They have some really great name brand stuff. I love this name brand. Uh, some adorable little shorts, the Joe's uh, jeans, little shorts. Um, they also start in size newborn all the way up to size 14, 16. Some adorable little rompers that I see here that I definitely want to get for for Emerson. I think this would be so cute for her to wear. They have hats, they have headbands, so many accessories. This is another one of those items that is exclusive to their store. She actually designed this, so if you purchase this for your baby, it's the only place that you can get it. Um, adorable swimsuits, some of the cutest little swimsuits I've ever seen with little matching hats. Yeah, thank you, baby. Something else that I really love about their shop, and it's hard to find this, when you come in and shop, there's the adorable little play area for your child. They have puzzles, and little animals, crayons, coloring books, books, even little baby dolls that you can buy, which Emerson has clearly found one that she loves. A TV for the kids that are a little bit older, um, and you can sit here, look through your pile. I've obviously found too many things, um, and let your, your baby or your child play while you shop around. And and their hours, they have great hours. They're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, and on Saturday they open from 10 to 3. And we're actually going to have a little fashion show here for you to show you some of the pieces coming up.
and what I have to say is one of my favorite parts of the store. I mean, the whole store is decorated absolutely beautiful, but I mean, what a fun little detail, this swing. Um, accessories are spread out throughout the whole store, but this is just a cute little corner in the store with tons of adorable bows, um, and this is just another little fun place for your kids to play while you shop. Um, I love it. I mean, even here I am 33 years old, and can you ever get tired of a swing? Like, I love a swing. So we're going to swing on over to the next boutique. Well, what a fun day here at Raised at the Barn. Emerson found her an adorable outfit and way too many more outfits that we got. And Emerson is actually getting tired, so I had to call in back up. So my mom, Emerson's Grammy, is gonna come take over. And we are actually going to go continue our journey on Shop Local to the next boutique. Follow me. Now that my hands are free, we can really do some shopping. We're headed into the chest and the chair. Let's go inside. This store is absolutely beautiful, and I have to say, one of my favorite parts of this store is this section. Um, for those of you that are familiar with painting, Annie Sloan paint, very hard to find. They're actually one of the only people in this area that actually carries this name brand. And not only can you get the paint, basically everything that you need to paint a beautiful piece of furniture. They have all of the Annie Sloan brushes, the paint, the wax, I mean, literally from start to finish, everything. And what's also so great is she actually offers classes. So if you wanna learn more and hone in your painting skills, you can actually come here in store and she will teach you how to paint, which I think is really, really awesome. And um, she's actually working on a beautiful set right here that's actually gonna be in a baby's nursery um, that she's been restoring, just absolutely stunning. Um, she has all of the samples on the wall so you can actually physically, visually see what the colors look like. And maybe if we're lucky, hey, we might to get a sit in in a class. But for now, let's head on over to the rest of the store. Now we're in the other side of the store. There's literally so much to focus. One thing that I love is they really focus on local artists. You can consign your furniture pieces here, some beautiful pieces that local people have restored that you can come in and purchase. Locally made jewelry, uh, they carry essential oils, handmade candles, light fixtures, home decor. You can come in and purchase a birthday gift, a, any gift for a holiday. They literally have have it all here. Um, handmade soaps, lotions, I mean the amount of things that they have here it's absolutely endless and like I said earlier my favorite spot over there is the paint section and let's just see if we can get in on some some tips learn some things over here maybe a little paint class we can get the owner to teach us. We're going to use our brush and we're just going to go all different directions. Oh wow! get it on, on a class. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Have a seat. Enjoy that. Yeah. This is so much fun. Here, I'll let you. Thank there you. you oh, wow. Beautiful color. Now we just go back and forth. Aim for complete coverage. Very nice. It's very beachy. Beth has a pretty color. Beth does. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, definitely, everyone, check out. They're going to be um, having an online shop soon, and you can get online and check out the times of the classes. I'm going to finish up here, and we're going to head on over to Bach Boutique. I'm Freddie. And I'm Kathy. We're from Georgia. We're celebrating our 42nd wedding anniversary. And we love the Krispy Kreme donut. And we love my Smokey TV. I hope you all have enjoyed our shopping trip as much as I have. But we are not done yet. Our last stop, we're headed in to the women's boutique, Bop. Come along.
We are here now in the beautiful store block and we're actually about to head over and uh, talk to the owner, April. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. So good to see you. Thank you so much for having us in your store. Oh, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, we're so happy to be here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And you were actually the first person in the crossing in the shopping center. And you said you started out and tell us a little bit about it. So it was a smaller store. Yeah. yeah, so it's been incredible. When we first started, it's been about three years. We actually started online and then we had moved into this 800 square foot space. And then after a year of being in that space, um, we just grew and so wow. um, we've got this 2400 square foot space now so we're just so thankful and been yes. blessed with the most amazing customers so <laughs> absolutely gorgeous and you were just talking about online yes. so the shop the uh, shoppers can go online and actually purchase and you ship it all over the country correct yes yep yeah we ship daily so okay. yeah so it's been a great um, social media has been wonderful with our advertising yes. and then our online so it's just been an incredible journey it with that like it. let's walk around <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have sunglasses, we carry sizes um, from small to 3x in our store as well, and then we also do a mommy and me line too. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, the mommy and me line. What sizes does that start It starts at? from 2T and goes up to 11, 12. Oh my goodness. I'm <laughs> you guys, she, you know, she's 21 minutes. So she's like getting into that range. So I'm going to have to be yes. back and get us a match. I love to match her. I do too. Yeah, so much fun. Yes, it is. You actually are expecting another <laughs> little baby on the way. Yes, yeah, we have another little girl to add to our oh name. My so. Goodness. I love just all the beautiful pastels you have some beautiful pieces oh thank you there's just too many things right? <laughs> today has been like such a fun day it's like you go shop for your baby you go shop for your home yes. and you go shop for the mommy <laughs> i love it <laughs>Pretty. Yeah, so pretty. You can't go wrong with a romper or a no. jumper, I feel like. No, not at all. This is a big trend. Yeah. And it's so adorable. Cute. Put a little jacket yes. over it when it gets cool. And yes. Yeah, this one's perfect. I love it. <laughs> you Thank precious. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think that's it, you guys. Let's go find one more <laughs> Are you ready to go, Emerson? Thank you all so much for watching our new segment, Shop Local. It's been so fun for you guys to follow us along at the Shop Local Boutiques today. Don't forget to check us out on channel 195, My Smoky TV. Hey, so you're in the Smokies and I know you're hungry and guess what? I got a great place for you to eat. It's a delicious Mexican restaurant right here at the crossing. It's called Pollo Loco and I'm going to tell you all about it in just a moment. Mm -mm. Let's dine local. Okay, great. You made it back. Hey, this is Chris with My Smoky TV and you're watching Dine Local and guess what? You're just in time to watch us dine local at the Pollo Loco. Okay, we're inside. Hi, welcome to Pollo Loco. Now, is this where I can get the best Mexican food in town? Yes, it is. This is the place where you can get fresh Mexican authentic food in the whole town. <laughs> so right this way, please. Okay, so as you can see, I'm crashing somebody's party. We already have Michelle with My Smoky TV here, and it looks like Michelle's already got our drinks ordered for us to try, and you're gonna be amazed at the fresh drinks they have. They have hibiscus tea. This is the first one. We're gonna give that a try in just a second, and this has good benefits for the body, and they make this fresh from the hibiscus flower, and they have the horchetta drink. This is actually rice milk, and it looks really good, and Michelle, I believe right now, we're gonna ask you to try the pinya. This is fresh pineapple drink, so Michelle, tell Tell us what it tastes like. It's very good. Now this looks really good. They're gonna start us off with some salsa and some queso dip and some guacamole. So this is gonna be really good. Mm. Gracias. While waiting for our main entrees, I got to go behind the scenes to see how our food was freshly made and prepared. 
Mm, that looks good. Food is here, yes. Oh, oh it looks real mm. good. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank, thank, you. thank you. Well, as you can see, we're here for the main course and this looks fabulous i mean we have fajitas they brought the rice and beans oh and look Where at this delish here oh this dish is delish just like i said oh my god so guess what you get to watch us enjoy this meal and then we're going to close out and tell you once again where the pollo loco is located Okay, I'm gonna take a little break to let you know that this food really is delicious and we wanna get back to it, but first I wanna tell you once again, we're here at Pollo Loco and this food is made, believe it or not, fresh daily. That's where you're gonna get authentic Mexican food made fresh daily. So if you're in the Smokies, you need to come to Pollo Loco. They're located on the Newport Highway right at the crossing. So you've been watching Dine Local. Now let's get back to eating. Boom! All done. This is the clay, expertly crafted, that became the dishes on our tables. This is the grain, traditionally stone ground, that became the fresh baked bread we serve every day. And this is the home, famously designed, that became the most unique setting for casual dining in Pigeon Forge. From our custom dishware to our delicious food, you can see the ingredients that make the Pottery House Cafe special. The Pottery House Cafe and Grill. Come experience our quality and our heritage. Locally owned and operated, Happy Hippie is your one-stop shop for CBD products, imported and locally made pipes, detox products, boutique clothing, home decor, incense, tapestries, and so much more. Just too much to mention. So you'll need to stop by Happy Hippie to see all they have to offer. And for stopping by, all you have to do is mention this ad to receive 10% off your next purchase at the Happy Hippie, located right next to the Tennessee Trading Post on the Parkway in Sevierville. At Spa To Go, we're dedicated to providing a relaxing and rejuvenating massage experience without the constraints of a conventional spa. We do this through hydrotherapy using aqua massage machines that produce a refreshing massage without the need to remove your clothing while you stay dry as the water pressure transfers to your body through a thin barrier. No appointment scheduling needed, just walk in. 36 water jets pulsate up and down the full length of your entire backside, producing a deep, healthy, therapeutic, relaxing massage. The pressure is adjusted to each individual's comfort level, and you control the areas that receive concentrated attention to soothe aching muscles, resulting in reduced tension and relieving stress. Great for tired feet, aching backs, shoulders, and neck. You won't be able to receive a more relaxing, enjoyable experience for the time and money spent than here at spa to go Two locations in Gatlinburg, Mountain Mall at Traffic Light 6 across from the Aquarium and Lower Ober Tramway Mall on the Parkway. A full day of family fun awaits you at Big Rock Dude Ranch of Ponderosa in Pigeon Forge. Enjoy magnificent views of the Smokies on your tour through the mountains. The kids will love pretending they're old-fashioned prospectors when you visit the gem mine. Pay a visit to the friendly animals at the petting zoo. Kick back and relax at the fishing pond and the picnic area. Try a ATV ride through nearby creeks and mountain trails. Don't miss the best time in the Smokies, Big Rock Dude Ranch at Ponderosa. My name is Roy Walker, owner of the Veteran Store. We are veteran owned and operated. We are the largest veteran store in the country. We got the largest selection of hats, shirts, pins, patches, anything you need in veteran memorabilia. We let you build the plaque and we can personalize them, which makes it a great special gift. We also carry firemen, police, EMT, EMS products also in the store. I got started in this business about eight years ago. After I retired from service, I started looking for veteran uh, 
products and I couldn't find nobody that carried them. As we already have a store here, I started looking into it and going out and trying to find veterans products and we've turned into the largest veteran store in the country. We hire veterans here to operate the store that understand what veterans are looking for and can better communicate with them. Uh, this store has come a hangout for a lot of the vets that when they do come in town, if you're not a veteran, you can come in here and find some poor vet that they will be very happy with. This is a home for veterans. I like to call it a home away from home. We're in the Pigeon Forge factory outlet right before. Red light number four, we're, right, we're on the upper floor above the handbag superstore. You know, for all veterans that, that see this ad, they come in and mention that ad, we got a free gift for you that we'll give you when you come in. Antique and Estate Liquidations in Surville has the best selections of unique conversation pieces from around the world. Just look at all these great items that would make wonderful gifts or fit nice in your own home. Want more? Then take a stroll down the street and visit Estate Antiques and Collectibles, offering furniture, collectibles, vintage clothes, and so much more. Come see Antique and Estate Liquidations in Surville or Estate Antiques and Collectibles in Kodak. They're both on Winfield Dunn Parkway. Play and stay at the island. Visit islandandpigeonforge.com. The Golden Carrot has been family owned and operated for over 25 years, providing high quality merchandise and services at the lowest possible prices. What do you give someone who has everything? More. Surprise that special someone with fabulous jewelry. Choose from a wide selection of rings, necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. Visit the Golden Carrot, where every customer is treated like family, located on the Parkway in Sevierville. Hey, listen to why the Gondolier Restaurant has been voted number one in Sevier County. The food here is amazing. Well, we've been coming here for around close to 15 years, and the food here has always been great. Always good food, great people. The waitresses are awesome. I've been eating here with John and Rita for about a dozen years now. It's a nice, nice restaurant. This food is spectacular. You'll love the food, too, at the Gondolier Restaurant in Sevierville. Dine in or carry out today. For over 20 years, Incredible Photos has been making amazing souvenir pictures of people like you quickly without the need to change clothing. Laugh lines, underage bags, and any blemishes disappear before your eyes with our digital touch-up software. Also, at Incredible Photos, we work with you to create completely personalized items, including cell phone cases, license plate, t-shirts, mugs, and more. We can also use photos from your cell phone, camera, wallet photos, Facebook, or other media. Or let us help you choose from our vast media library. Add your own text to the design to complete the customization that shows your style. Most items only take minutes to produce and are longer lasting than hand-painted products. Boots, hats, and accessories all can be found at Cowboy Way in the Gatlinburg Mall. Cowboy Way is famous for carrying a vast selection of top brands like Dan Post, Ariat, Casey, and more. Looking for a hat? We got them, like famous Stetson, Resist All, and Coral Hats. Shop the Cowboy Way for men or shop the Cowboy Way for women. 
Great selection of women's boots, hats, purses, and accessories. Three locations to shop, Cowboy Way in the Gatlinburg Mall, branded right across from the Gatlinburg Mall, or the Boot Junkie in Pigeon Forge. Kids love putt-putt and parents love it too. Family-friendly Mountain Golf Putt-Putt is definitely fun for the entire family. Mountain Golf Putt-Putt is a new indoor climate control 18-hole putt-putt course with a beautiful mountain theme of Cage Cove. It's so much exciting fun, especially when you get a chance for a hole-in-one to win a free game. So get up and come have a great time at Mountain Golf Putt-Putt, located inside the Mountain Mall on Level D in beautiful downtown Gatlinburg. When you come into our bakery, you will see My Smoky TV on all our channels. We are known for our cinnamon rolls. So you know what? Stephanie said, Chris, I want you to try one. So I'm getting ready to try one for the first time. And she just heated it up for me, too. So here we go. That is amazing. We are on Facebook. I post daily specials. We are at 240 Forks of the River Parkway. How about... Sweet frog, what a treat. Uh, I think it's more like sweet frog. Or sweet frog. <laughs> Maybe we should just. Sweet frog, what a treat. A sweet frog. Oh, wicked, wicked. If you love all-natural hand-scented candles, then you have to shop Smoky Mountain Wax & Company. Family owned and operated, they carry over 130 cents and use premium American Farmer Soy Wax, a more natural, longer-lasting candle that can be used over 150 hours. And check this out, it can also be used as a lotion rich in vitamin E. Smoky Mountain Wax & Company can not only make your home smell fabulous, but look great too with items by farmhouse decor, including signs and lettering. Shop Smoky Mountain Wax & Company in the out to mall, your home will thank you for it. Buddy, if you got a sweet tooth, then you'll need to visit Papaw's Sweet Tooth in the Mountain Mall, carrying comfort foods of Appalachian Americans. Now, Papaw loves popcorn and sodas, so you'll find nearly 100 flavors of gourmet popcorn and 200 varieties of gourmet sodas. Plus, while you're there, pick up some Amish jams and jellies, pickled goods, and candies. They even have one of those old-timey dog tag machines for you to customize a dog tag. So come on up to Papaw's Sweet Tooth, located on Level F in the Mountain Mall in downtown Gatlinburg. Here at the Gallon Burlier, we don't just sell pipes. We'll teach you how to smoke a pipe. We'll teach you how to pick your tobacco. We'll teach you how to quit cigarettes using one. You know, when you buy a pipe, you should buy a pipe from a man who smokes a pipe. You wouldn't buy a motorcycle from a man who doesn't ride or a shotgun from a man who doesn't shoot. Be smart. Kids love putt-putt and parents love it too. Family-friendly Mountain Golf Putt-Putt is definitely fun for the entire family. Mountain Golf Putt-Putt is a new indoor climate control 18-hole putt-putt course with a beautiful mountain theme of Cage Cove. It's so much exciting fun, especially when you get a chance for a hole-in-one to win a free game. So get up and come have a great time at Mountain Golf Putt-Putt, located inside the Mountain Mall on Level D in beautiful downtown Gatlinburg. Hey girl, it's me. Let's go shopping. I need a new outfit for my date tonight. Sounds great. I'll meet you in 10 minutes. Hi everyone, it is Ashley again here for Shop Local, our segment. Something new, fun, and exciting today. We are here at Laura Lies Boutique. Guys, let me just say, this is one of the prettiest boutiques I have seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. Not only does she have clothing, but she has makeup bags. She has face products, food, basically anything you need, she has it here. One of my favorite areas, for those of you Shark uh, Tank fans out there, this is actually the Makeup Junkie Bags. These are so popular right now, and Lorelai's is one of the only people in our area that carries these, so if you love these bags or you are just curious about them, you need to come check them out. 
the clothing part of the store she what I love about this store is the, her sizing range she has anywhere from small to 3x over to the left of me is going to be the small to large section some beautiful clothing I'm actually wearing one of her pieces now and guys this fits me perfectly so for all of you petite girls out there you need to come check out Laura Lies because this romper is absolutely adorable and she has t-shirts that are actually exclusive to her store when we come back we're actually gonna go to one of my favorite areas of the store it's really exciting and something that's exclusive to Laura Lies Thank you so much for having us. Well, in your thanks for coming today. Yeah. Hey, and just kind of tell the viewers, Laura, like, a little bit about Uno de Fifty. It's okay. very exclusive, and right. I've really enjoyed uh, hearing about this beautiful cool. collection. Well, Uno de Fifty is a sterling silver line. It's handmade in Madrid, Spain. Um, Uno de Fifty means one of fifty, so there's it's very exclusive. You're going to only get fifty pieces of any certain product, and we don't reorder. So if you've got it on, mm -hmm. you're not going to see it on the neighbor or you know out in town or anything. Right. That's so what we try to keep it exclusive. <laughs> so it's just a, such a beautiful store, you guys. You have to come check it out. So everyone that watches our show, shop local. You literally do it all. It's one stop shop. <laughs> so everyone, please come check out Laura Lies. Thank you, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Cheryl Martin. I'm from Rutland, Vermont, and you're watching My Smoky TV. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge.